So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for the Dax Fridays, a new Dax function every Friday and in today's Dax Fridays we're going to continue with our Dax battles. This time you ask me for filter and calculate tables. So what is the difference between those and when should you use which? Okay, so let's, let's try to figure this out, shall we? Okay, now I have here a very simple example so we can actually as always see our results. So I have a small table that contains two columns, uh, color and sales. And let's say that we want to calculate the sales for the products that the color is red. And you can actually do this in two ways. And for those of you that are new to DAX, you're probably wondering why this is even a question. You'll see it now. I have a calculation that I've done it with filter. So you calculate the sales. All sales is sum of sales, just sum of sales, nothing else. And then filter where color is red. And then I have exactly, you know, another measure that does the same thing, but uses calculate table instead of filter. And if we put them on the canvas, you'll see that they return the same thing. So they're, they're, it's exactly the same result. So what's the deal here? What's the deal? What? The main deal is something that they actually have done a fairly good job to explain it on the documentation. There is an article, I'm going to link it down below, that it says, listen to this, avoid filter as a filter argument. You, you heard me? <laughs> avoid filter as a filter argument. How many times have you seen people using, myself included, using filter as a filter argument? You just, you know, filter, it's called filter. <laughs> you use it to filter, well, you shouldn't. And the question is why? Why shouldn't you do use filter as a filter argument? It is going to blow your brains out. <laughs> but if you have been working with DAX for a while, you probably have heard stay away of these X functions, sum X, count X, concatenate X, because they are what they call iterators. It means that they do the calculations row by row. They go each row inspected and then do calculation row by row. They can be very, very slow if you have a big model. If you don't have a big model, no problem. And that would be the same for filter calculate table. <laughs> Small models, no problem. You can just do it. You can use anything. But when you have bigger models, filter is an iterator. I know. Let's check the documentation. It says here, filter returns a table that represents a subset on another table. And then you have a table and a filter expression. It says only here that is a true false expression. The filter that you can apply is a true false expression that is evaluated for each row. It's only there that you can see there is an iterator. Which means that filter does its calculation going row by row row by row. So if we go to our example, it filter, our filter thing, it will go, okay, row one, are you red? <laughs> and then it will say, yes, I am red. Okay, sales two. Row two, are you red? No. I have actually a, fil a video explaining, uh, you know, talking about the VertiPack engine, which is the the thing behind DAX that does all the calculations that explains actually, that has this as an example. So I'm going to post the link, and it's going to pop here and down below, so you can actually check it out. But basically, you know, you're going row by row and do the calculations. If you have a big table, can you imagine how slow that can be? Obviously, there are other compression techniques that VertiPack uses to be able to do calculations faster, even if you're iterating row by row, but still, there are other ways that you can do this. And other ways is calculate table. Calculate table will go and say, get this table. It will filter by red, and then it will do the computation. So it will not go row by row. It will just say, okay, which of those columns are red? And then it will bring a table only with red and then do the sum. You can imagine that it's a lot faster to do that than to go row by row checking if you're red or not. And that is the main difference why, you know, between filter and calculate, table and that is the main reason why they say here that you should avoid using filter as a filter argument 
In my opinion, they should change the name of filter to filter X because it is now engraved in our minds, at least on mine, that every time I see an X in front of a function name, it means that it goes row by row and it's going to be slow. So I'm going to be more careful about when I use it and how I use it. Does it make sense? So it would be great if they change it. I'm guessing that they won't do it. So this is something that we just have to keep in mind. It was a bad naming from the beginning. So, yeah, another thing that you're going to see when using calculate table is, let me show you. So let's say that we have here, we are going to calculate the sales for color red, but we want to calculate also where sales is bigger than one. So you can say, oh, I do like filter here. I do sales. All sales is our sum of sales bigger than one. And then you're going to get, you probably have gotten this error quite a few times. It says a function calculate, I think, a function calculate has been used in a true false expression that is used as a table filter expression and is not allowed. What is it telling you? It's basically telling you, look at this. Here is true or false filter expressions. It says here, the true or false filter expression must abide this. Can only reference a single column. This is for calculate table. Obviously, this is different for everyone. Only a single column. It cannot reference measures. It cannot reference measures. We were referencing a measure here. So that's why it's telling you, mm -mm, no, true or false type of filtering does not allow for a measure. We should say that. <laughs> you should say that. Anyhow, if you look here, it says that it can't reference a single column. So you can actually go back and instead of all sales, because we have sales now in a column, you could actually put here, what is table, and then sales, bigger than one. So we go in here to check the result. It is six, and this is, it's just taking four plus two, six. So because the first row is less than one, it's not taking the result. So it's giving us the right thing. But you need to write it in the way that for calculate it is allowed. If you go to the filter, Part, you could you can't write these type of things uh, where is it all sales bigger than one and then if we go here we will see six again okay and that's because of the row by row thing they explain it actually very very well in here so if you like to read instead then this is quite a nice thing it says here the definition of high product margin is one that has a least price exceeding double standard cost, blah, blah, blah. In this example, the filter function must be used because it is too complex for a yes or no operation. So that's why. I think, I don't know if it's true. If you know, just let me know. But I think that when we're actually writing this, what we are, I mean, when we write table says bigger than one, I think what we're probably writing is this filter table sales bigger than one. But I couldn't tell you. I don't know. The syntax sugar is just something that either you know you don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah, so the main difference is uh, you can go down this rabbit hole quite far, but I just want you to grasp the, the, the big concepts, which is number one, they say it here. Let's say it again everybody together avoid using filter as a filter argument unless you need to do row by row calculations when you have just these true or false filters that they call like product is red or state is michigan or <laughs> whatever it is then you can use calculate table because it's going to be faster or like they say in this case keep filters right and then there are some limitations of the type of filters that you can write both with filter and both with calculate table. You need to go to the documentation to find out what those are if you are getting errors. Okay, so I hope that this starts to clarify the difference between them and why filters sometimes if you have big data, you know, big tables might not be the best solution. If you have small tables, don't tell anybody I told you that, but who cares? But otherwise, if you're getting a slower performance, then you start. You need to start knowing these things in order to get your calculations working. So, yeah.
I hope it didn't give you too much headache for being a Friday. But uh, enjoy your weekend. I will see you as always again on Monday with another Power BI video. Until then, take care, enjoy your weekend, and bye-bye.